What's up YouTube, here we go with another motherboard unboxing and review. As you saw the unboxing, today we are talking about the Prime B460MA. This is the generation 1 of this motherboard. In my previous video, I unboxed and reviewed the B460MA R2, meaning it is the generation 2. Uh, if you are interested in buying the generation 2, which is a little bit more expensive, uh, and also it has one more PCIe slot, uh, in total of 4 PCA slots, definitely check out my other video, the link is above and also at the end of the video. You also can find it in my channel. But for today, let's talk about the Generation 1. The Generation 1 of this motherboard, uh, it's about $100 from Micro Center, but you can find it in Amazon and other places for the same price. Uh, this motherboard features 3 PCA slots which is the only difference between this motherboard and the generation 2 one. This motherboard is perfect for people who want to make a 6 GPU rig mining rig. Uh, I always make my mining rigs at 6 GPUs, however with the other one, the generation 2, you are able to add 7 GPUs to it. And Or with the other one, I still use 6 GPUs through it. Uh, but in the additional PCIe slot, what I do is I connect my internal uh, Wi-Fi adapter. And since internal Wi-Fi adapter, the speed that you can get out of it is way better than the speed that you can get through an USB Wi-Fi adapter. And it lasts obviously longer. However, with this motherboard, um, I the Wi-Fi adapter that I use is a TP-Link AC1300 which you can find the link above and also through my channel. Uh, this Wi-Fi adapter that I use approximately gives me about 50 megabyte per second which is more than enough for mining. And therefore I don't need an additional PCA slot to connect my internal Wi-Fi adapter to it. And the way that I connect 6 uh, GPUs to this motherboard is I connect 2 to the PCA slot on the bottom as you can see right here and also I connect uh, in the first slot uh, PCA 1 to 4 adapter so with this one you can connect it to the first slot right here and the reason that you can do this is because the first slot that we have here is a PCIe 4 which simply you can split it to 4 without uh, reducing or compromising any hash rate. So you get the exact same hash rate that you want. And that's a good thing. And you can find it in eBay, Newegg for different prices but I recommend getting the one that are close to $20 because those are the best ones that have good qualities. And so 4 in the first slot, 5 and 6. There you go. You have a 6 uh, GPU mining rig. Technically, in this uh, motherboard, you are able to add another GPU to and maybe two more even two more maybe you can make an 8 gpu rig out of this but 8 gpu rig in the motherboard it's too risky and uh, it's just better to get another motherboard but technically you can have a 7 gpu rig in this motherboard and the way you can do the, this is that this motherboard features two n2 nvme slot right here M2 NVMe slot means uh, ultra fast connectivity and it's very similar to a PCIe and you can get an adapter NVMe to PCIe so you connect it to NVMe and it gives you a USB that you can connect your riser to it and you can connect the GPU to the NVMe slot to the M2 slot and from my experience connecting a GPU into an M2 slot maybe uh, you the hash rate that you get it's one or two less so for example if you have a um, 6600 XT overclocked and you get 32 hash rate on any other slot but if you connect it to an NVMe you get like 30 hash rate or like 29 
it's not recommended and I don't recommend doing it but that's a possibility that if anyone want to do it talking about other thing of this motherboard and uh, looking at the connection we can see this motherboard has an HDMI and a DVI and the only way that you can use that is using an integrated graphic now I tested uh, both i3 integrated and i3 non-integrated the i3 non-integrated was 10100F and the integrated one I believe 10105 if you use a non-integrated 10100F i3 or any other non-integrated CPUs on this motherboard then simply you are not able to use the HDMI and the DVI port on the motherboard so uh, you have to think about an alternative and connect uh, because if you connect your GPU through a rig right behind your GPU you have a fan and you cannot uh, put an HDMI cable through your fan and connect it to your GPU so you have to offset your fan a little bit which makes the airflow not good and connect a uh, cable to your GPU so you can make one of your dedicated GPUs into a primary GPU in order to get a video output out of it that's one option and the other option is just get an integrated graphic which is like $20 more expensive and then right plug into your motherboard connect your HDMI or your DVI to your motherboard instead of your GPU because you're mining you're not doing any gaming and you don't care about the FPS you get out of it and another thing that I found is once you're overclocking your GPUs uh, getting Windows output out of your GPU uh, makes your GPU not stable and your Windows keeps on crashing and you have way too much problems overclocking um, GPUs that are also primary and your Windows is being loaded with your GPU so from my experience if you have an integrated graphic uh, like i3 with integrated graphic which usually is UHD 620 or UHD 630 then uh, your Windows is being loaded with your CPU and your GPUs are all mining at 100% not doing anything else and you can easily overclock them and you have a more stable system and really helps I tried it and one of my rig I have a non-integrated graphic and on my other rig I have an integrated graphic on the rig that I have an integrated graphic I have no problem with overclocking it I overclock it once and I don't touch it anymore but with the other one that I have a non-integrated graphic it keeps crashing every day and I'm even thinking on switching out to an integrated graphic on that one so definitely uh, keep that in mind everything else about this motherboard I think it's great it's a great motherboard and it's more reliable even uh, than Gigabyte's motherboard previously I owned the Gigabyte motherboard and after one year of light use uh, it got burnt and it does not have a really good warranty that you can get it fixed so I recommend getting ASUS uh, either this one or the other one for mining and it's way cheaper than the mining motherboard and works better if you have any questions feel free to comment below other than this thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day